Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Austin. I'm an industrial designer um, who's primarily worked with footwear companies. And this is the first video where I'm going to be showing you a few tips and tricks either in Photoshop, Illustrator or Sketchbook Pro and taking some of your own sketches and showing you a few things that I've learned over my short career as a designer. Uh, and the first sketch we're going to be looking at is from Jean Carlos from Peru. Apologies if I'm making a mistake in your name, uh, but he has sent in this New Balance running shoe. Looks super cool. Um, pretty nice proportions. Uh, interesting shapes going on. Uh, and overall, it looks like a pretty well thought out shoe. Uh, we're just going to make a few changes here and there and also come up with a rendering in Photoshop. A really simple one, uh, just doing a little bit of color blocking and then going in with some sketching uh, and some shading. And currently I'm just outlining the overall shapes uh, using a soft brush, um, pretty thin soft brush. And then going in and lowering the opacity on his own sketch for a little underlay. Uh, making a few tweaks to lines here and there just so we can add a little bit of dyna dynamicism. Uh, so speeding things up a little bit, adding a little bit more of a arch to some of the sketch uh, lines that are in here. In Photoshop, one of the things you want to remember too is that you can use the R key as a rotate. Uh, and you can zoom in using the command bracket keys uh, and also do the same for zooming out. Switching back from brush, which is the B key and E, which is the uh, eraser tool. This design is really nice, so I'm not making a ton of changes for the purpose of this little brief tutorial. Uh, primarily just showing the rendering technique that I would use for like a very quick sketch render and this has been sped up a little bit so i'm going through it pretty quickly um, that is the overall sketch work and then leaving jean's uh, sketch to the side just for a little bit of reference So in Photoshop, you can use eye as the eyedropper tool, which is going to allow you to color pick uh, on a sketch. So I wanted to retain a little bit of the yellow that uh, Jean had in his drawing. And basically now I'm using a hard brush and going in there and filling uh, the shapes that I want to be filled. Not worrying so much about staying in between the lines because I can use the eraser tool later to go in and clean it up. When you add layers on top of each other, you don't have to worry so much about whether or not you went past the line because you can cover it up. So you can see that these gray lines and gray shapes are covering the yellow. Color picking again, just for the rubber. You can use the pen tool in Photoshop as well, if you want it a little bit more clean, um, because here using this technique, just filling it in with a brush is gonna leave you with pretty dirty edges. But for the sake of this kind of speedy sketch render, I decided to just go with the brush. I feel like it's a little bit more artful and not quite as tedious as using the pen tool, but you can use either method and get pretty good results from it. So here I'm just kind of taking a look, zooming out a little bit, just so that I can get a sense of the overall proportions. You can use the warp tools uh, and transform tools if you feel like 
you want to adjust the sketch in any way. Um, but it's a really good tip to just zoom out as much as you can so that you're not getting too much tunnel vision looking into the details themselves. So now here we're going to start with the shading. Really wanted to get a really crisp uh, midsole line here, so started off with a very broad, soft brush. Uh, and then using the clipping mask feature, you can make sure that that shading is just affecting that one layer. So I wanted to affect only the midsole. So each of those shading layers is going to be a clipping mask on top of that midsole. I made a clipping mask on top of some of the lining features. Just give it a little bit of a highlight, a little bit of a shadow as well. Kind of just going through one by one through each of these layers and making sure that I have shadows and highlights in the places that I was looking for. Sean Carlos had these really cool uh, kind of molded features into the side overlays as well. So I wanted to make sure that those were popping out as much as I could. One of the last steps I usually do for these overlays and layers is put on a little highlight edge like you see on that gray piece. Just allows it to pop out a little bit more and give it a little bit more thickness. I'm going in with the soft brush for highlights over the entire shoe, so it's not necessarily just affecting one layer. This will kind of help give the overall shoe a nice form. Make it appear like it's wrapping a little bit. I think I put that on our overlay layer as well. Then coming in and doing the same with the core shadow. And then as the upper material is wrapping underneath the midsole, you want to give it a shadow as well, just so that it kind of looks like it's curling under the tooling. Adding a bit of contrast always helps pop the sketch out as well. So you can see I'm adding a little bit more shadows and highlights here and there to help pop it out. And laces, sometimes a really quick trick you can use is just using a hard brush. That's the correct size. Uh, these brushes, these uh, laces could have got a little bit thicker uh, for more realism, but I was going pretty quickly, so. Taking a step back, just examining the overall shapes and proportions and then adding a New Balance logo. Um, here you could use the magic wand tool to get rid of all that white or just erase it out. And then just really quickly demonstrating how to put a texture in. We can grab a texture from the internet and then um, use a clipping mask, pull it over and then warp it over the edge so that it looks like it's curling a little bit. Final touch sometimes on the lower edge of the shoe, I like to pop it out a little bit more with a little shadow. So a dark, harder brush and trying to pop out the logo a little bit more and finally coming in with a little more contrast. Jean Carlos, thanks for sending this in. Super great sketch. We just did a few changes and finally completed it with some of those Photoshop tricks that I've shown. Thanks so much for watching. Look forward to the next one.